Welcome Monarch Nation back to Old Dominion University football. Today the spring scrimmage here at SB Ballard Stadium. Ted Alexander and Andy Mishaw. Andy, first of all, great to see you again. Look at this. We've got a football field and football to talk about. Look at that. There's a field. There's players on the field. We had a couple of fans up there. I mean, you know, invited folks, staff members and family, but there was a band, it was fan. It felt like football out here. 47 degrees, sunshine, and the spring scrimmage. Saw lots of plays from lots of guys we haven't seen before. Yeah, I didn't know how many live plays we were going to get. We got a good number of live plays, and we saw a lot of good stuff out there from some of these guys. It was clean, not a whole lot of turnovers, a couple, but not a whole lot, and not a lot of missed tackles or bad mental mistakes. So a lot of work to be done. But overall, I think coaches are, are going to be okay with it. Talk about some of the plays we saw. Blake Watson, uh, the running attack going early in this one. He showed some speed. Yeah, he did. He's one of the returning running backs. They're going to have competition basically across the board. But running back, you got three good returners from running back at Blake Watson. You got uh, Matt Geiger and then obviously Elijah Davis. Those three guys are still here. They're battling it out. And Watson looked pretty good today. A couple of big runs, some good cuts, and he looked strong. On the defensive side, they did a little red zone offense and the fade pattern. Uh-oh. No, not this time, said Larry Hawkins. Yeah, and that was the one big turnover, and I think that one's going to be on Hayden Wolf because it looked like he predetermined where he wanted to throw that before the snap, and he threw that right into perfect coverage. Corner underneath, safety came over the top, and uh, they made a good play on the ball, but that one's probably more on Wolf. And overall, quarterbacks looked okay too. I mean, that one was on Wolf, but you got we got the curve covered with these quarterbacks. You got Stone Smart, who is more of a runner, very athletic, though he is getting rid of the ball quicker than he was the last time we saw him. You got Hayden Wolf on the other side, huge arm, very accurate with it, but he's not going to move around a whole lot back there. And then right in the middle is DJ Mack, and he's sort of got a little bit of both. He's a lot more smooth of a runner than he looks because he's not a small guy. He's 6'3", 220 something. He's big, but he can move for a big guy, and he's got a good arm. He's not quite as accurate as Wolf, but he's sort of right there in the middle. So this is competition across. Yeah, you saw Smart get his team on the board, a touchdown pass to Keyshawn Wicks. That was one of the highlights. And Elijah Davis, a touchdown run here today. Yeah, Elijah Davis had not lost any of the power in his legs, that's for sure. He made a lot of yards after contact, keeping his legs driving, got into the end zone, and he looks as like he's picking it back up too. The moral of the story is the 15 spring practices are now in the books. Now you set your sights on September 3rd on the season opener at Wake Forest. Lots to do between now and then. Yeah, there's a lot going on. They're going to, I mean, this the unit they had out here, this roster is probably still going to change before we get back out for fall in September. There's going to be guys who maybe leave. There's going to be more guys coming in. They're looking for more depth from some JUCOs. They need more depth on the offensive line. I'm told the coaches like this offensive line at the top, but they need more depth. They also need more depth at receiver, and they need more depth at, at linebacker and O-line and D-line. So there's a lot more guys who could come in here and see some, some action before the, we get this thing rolling. Another thought before we get out of here for this wrap-up of the spring practice. Being back in Cornblow Field at SB Ballard Stadium for the first time in months was really cool. You kind of forgot how beautiful this facility is. You're going to want to be a part of this 2021 season. Go to whynotticks.com to get your season tickets. For Andy Mishaw, I'm Ted Alexander, Monarch Media.